Hello. Okay, I am waiting for my students to connect. Hello, Laurita. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, maybe, and you? I am doing great, drinking some water. That's why I don't have the camera. Okay, there we go. Ready to start. Okay, very good. And now we are going to have a private class with Laura Pamela. <laughs> it's going to be a one on one class. It was like, no, I had a private class with teacher Nati, you will say. Okay, Pamela, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? ¿Qué hiciste hoy? Sir? Sorry. Sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry, I don't know. No sé qué es lo que hace interferencia en tu audio, fíjate. Ah, yo creo que es mi micrófono, pero eh, le preguntaba que cómo se dice en inglés. Fui al hospital porque me sentía un poco mal. I went to the hospital because I was feeling sick. I went to the hospital because, because I was feeling sick. Because I was feeling sick. And what did you have? ¿Qué tenía? Ah, it was like body, body ache, body, body ache. ache, body ache, body ache. Okay. Well, but I hope you are feeling better now. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, the hey, the interruption left. Ah, oh, ah, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, I am going to send a message to my other students so they can connect. Maybe they thought yesterday was the final class and they are not here. Okay, okay. So we are going to go over. We're going to go over. Es la de la clase. Yeah, I think they are they are very anxious about this. And I and I wrote it incorrectly. I am going to write it correctly. Okay. Okay, let me just send it again because I wrote it incorrectly. Okay, here we go. Hey, hello, Mr. Wilfredo. Hello, good evening. How are you? It's Pamela and I, it's not Pamela and me, I said. I said Pamela and me, but it was Pamela and I mm -hmm. are waiting for all of you. So welcome to your final class and for sure your presentations. Hello, Catherine, hello, Wilfredo, hello, Pamela. I know uh, this is our final day together. So we're going to be working on the little presentation that you had for today. And it was about the closing of the module. How did you feel? What was the most difficult? What did you like the most? For sure, what are your expectations for the next module? And um, 
that is what we're going to be sharing today. After that, I have a little practice and a little and a little part of comments and improvement for the next uh, module. Important uh, when we finish when we finish a module, there is uh, there are a couple of days that. Uh, you don't have classes, right? But there are some days only on which you don't have classes are like the vacations between the module and the module, right? Tienen como pequeñas vacaciones ahí entre módulo y módulo que son unos cuantos días nada más. No es como un mes, ni 15 días, ni 20. Son unos cuantos días nada más. Y eh, se les vuelve a contactar, se les vuelve a enviar toda la información como la recibieron para este módulo 1 y el día que inicia... Eh, el nombre de su docente, la lista de WhatsApp, eh, las listas de YouTube, toda la información que recibieron para este módulo la vuelven a recibir para el siguiente, ¿ok? Así que tienen que estar muy pendientes de, de su correo, tienen que estar muy pendientes de revisar todo por si se les ayuda a spam, tienen que estar muy, muy pendientes de todo, 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 eh, la información que van a estar recibiendo para eh, las siguientes clases. No es que tal vez el día lunes van a empezar el siguiente módulo, que sería chivísimo, ¿verdad? pero hay que cerrar este, agarrar toda la información de la plataforma, sus avances, todo, generar certificados y todo, y, e iniciar el siguiente, ¿ok? Así que tienen que estar muy pendientes de, eh, de los mensajes también de su WhatsApp para eh, continuar. Recomendación, si ya inició, no pare. Termine. Todo, 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 todo el programa. ¿Por qué? Porque si no, allá en un año me va a decir, ay, hubiera terminado, ya estuviera terminando, teacher. Pero fíjese que, ay, me, me acompañé. ¿Cómo? No, no, si se acompaña, pues que vayan los dos a clase. Eso no, no lo detiene a nadie. Ahí inscríbanse los dos a las clases. So, eh, eh, be pendent, ok, be pendent of that. Well, today we have our final class and for sure the short presentations. You have the questions that I sent you yesterday on the on the WhatsApp uh, for you to prepare it. What did you like the most? What was the most difficult, right? What do you need to improve and what are your expectations for the next module? Those are the answers that you have to give me in your short presentations. And after that, I am going to share a little bit with you about the mistakes, pronunciation, and improvement. The final things, remember, practice your English as much as possible, ask for help whenever you need, keep your cameras on, attend all your sessions, participate as much as possible in the next modules, keep a cooperative attitude, and always, always, always collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. I really like when you support each other, when you help each other in the WhatsApp group. When one person has a question, many people answer like this, this, that, that, try this one, try that one. Uh, this worked for me, right? Today, Catherine asked for something. I think it was you, right? And everybody were helping there. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Okay. So I don't really know who wants to be the first one to start the presentation. Uh -huh. ¿Quién quiere empezar? <laughs> Volunteers. Uh, yo. Ok, Leonel. Chan, chan, chan. Aplausos para Leonel, ok. Go chan, Leonel, chan, chan. you are going to do a great job. Very good, Leonel. Action. Ok. Es, um, eh, solo lo, lo leo ahora todo sin okay. ir por, go, go por ahead. Don't worry. Okay. Go ahead. Hello, good evening. Eh, my name is Leonel Bonilla. I learned about numbers, about scholars, and about many words that one can persist on a daily basis. Also to carry out converse, converse, conversation and to make sentence with the verse to be. I like speaking in, in English in the discussion, although I did not know 
what, what he wanted to say, uh, but it is sometimes the motivate more to continue learning. I need to improve, improve it. Uh, my pronunciation, I need to sp spend more time on it. Uh, the most difficult was the se section four and five because it was to analyze, analyze a lot to put the course answer. Um, now more vocabulary to be able uh, to understand muscle with the teacher and classmates in English. Uh, finish. <laughs> okay, very good. You see, uh, Lionel, I am very happy that uh, on the first day, that I met you, okay? Si se recuerdan el primer día que, que estábamos en clase, Leonel así como, eh, sí, no, mejor que participe otro, ahorita no, ah, no me da pena, no sé cómo se dice, no, mejor no, pero eh, eh, now you are improving, you are talking, you are being courageous to practice and speak the language. Continue learning, Ronnie, because even when it's only, it has only been 16 days, 16 days of learning, and you are learning and improving a lot. Si ha hecho esto en 16 días, imagínese todo lo que puede hacer en estos días que le faltan. So, continue practicing. Thank you, Lionel, for your presentation. Claps for Lionel, people. Claps for Lionel. Very good job. Mr. Ronnie, he raised his hand. Go ahead, Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Eh, Echemosle porras a Ronnie. Evelyn, 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 uh, what, what, what the most difficult? Uh, no, uh, the base and suddenly enter a uh, nineteen nine percent English voc vocabulary. Uh, for pronunciation is difficult for me. What do you think? What do what do you need the improve the conjugation of the verb to be? Uh, the formu the formulation of the affirmary in inter interrogatory and negative question. What are you expecting for the next month? Improve your level of English and improve it. Finish. Very good job, Ronnie. Yay! You see, Ronnie was another one that was like, ah, yeah, no, teacher, ah, que bien difícil, teacher, a mí no me sale, no, que diga otro. And you see, it was a very good thing. Eh, creo que lo primero que nos tenemos que quitar de la mente es el no puedo. Y usted ya lo va logrando. Ya se quitó el miedo de, ah, no me voy a equivocar, pero está bueno equivocarse. Porque eh, equivocarse me ayuda a mejorar. Así que, congratulations, Mr. Ronnie. Continue working on the great job you're doing. Yay. Very nice. Thank you, teacher. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Mr. Wilfredo, go ahead. Okay, Wilfredo, remember the microphone. Que tenía un visitante extraño ahí en la mesa. Uy, ¿quién? Un alacrán. 
Oh my goodness. Ah, con el terror que les tengo. Oh my goodness. Uy. Bueno, a ver, a ver si me sale igual. Yo estoy en las mismas también. Go ahead. Don't worry. Hey, Así claps, que... claps for Wilfredo. Eh. Echémosle porra si para algo que falla, si bien. algo falla, recuerde que estamos en vivo. Los en vivo. Así que ahí vamos. Go ahead, go ahead, Wilfredo. Action. Good evening, sin, everyone. Sin miedo al éxito. Good evening, everyone in this class. My name is Wilfredo Hernández. I currently live in Cojutepeque and I am 39 years old. My favorite hobby is running. What I like about the only class is that the teacher is really enhance the learning experience. The most difficult thing for me is to think and write in English because the pronunciation of so much repeating is memorized. I consider that I have to improve in everything because it is not my natural language. It is difficult to adapt. In the next module, I hope to have the same teacher and say learn more. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Yay. I hope to be with you, if not in this one, in the next one, but soon in the future, I really want to be your teacher again. You are a fantastic group of students. Thank you very much, Mr. Wilfredo. You see, I will see if it works. Voy a ver si me sale, he said. And it was a very good presentation. Excellent job. Claps for Mr. Wilfredo. Very good. Gracias. Very good. Thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's at me? Me, me, me. Three, two, one. Catherine, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, good evening, everyone. Hello. Uh, uh, for the first question, learn of this model. Uh, I learned to use the present continuous, uh, a lot of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. um, I learned to create questions, uh, WH questions, and make a good use of the verb uh, to be. Okay. Um, I like uh, learning uh, more vocabulary vocabulary mm -hmm. um, mm, to me it's difficult to uh, understand when uh, you can hear me yes i can I, the the signal is very low but i can listen to you uh-huh yes my internet is bad <laughs> No worry. Si no, puede apagar la cámara un ratito para que no le coma el ancho de banda. Ah, ok. Ajá, uh -huh. and you can continue. Ok. Uh, to me, it's difficult. Uh, um, understand the vocabulary uh, that I don't know. And I hope uh, as I, uh, I can learn too much i need to improve my pronunciation uh, i would like to learn more vocabulary and correctly uh, uh, make the the sentences okay uh, my how, how expectations uh -huh, okay. expectations <laughs> my expectations are to keep learning more and improve little by little. Very good job. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Claps for Catherine. Very nice. Very nice. For sure. Sure. You have had a great progress, Catherine. I am very happy with all the things that you have done and all the progress that you have shown. So continue working and continue doing that great job that you do. Fantastic. Thank you, Catherine. Laura Pamela, go ahead. 
Thank you, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Bien, ¿verdad, compañeros? Yeah, partners or co-workers or classmates can be. Uh, um, I didn't to use of where to be, colors, pronouns, the time, and, and clothes. I, I like to know uh, how dynamic the class is the participation. I, it is difficult for me to participate. Either I was a kind of staying sometimes wrong. I need to improve pronunciation. Um, how do you spell with expectations? My expectations. My expectations is a little more that I really know and speak English a little more. Easily good above I practice. Okay. Then, You're welcome, Pamela. Great job. Very good. Very good. Yes, Pamela said something very nice. Even when it is difficult, even when she makes mistakes, she participates, right? Even if it is difficult or if you are incorrect, participate because participation and production are some things that are going to help you do better in your English language. Okay, very good job. Thank you very much. And for sure, if you need to share something, I am going to give you the permission for that. Very good. So let's continue. Who's next? Next. Three, two, one. <laughs> chan, chan, chan. Thank you, Manuel. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, si no hay voluntario, yo escojo el voluntario. <laughs> hey, Mr. Okay. Victor, no. Mr. Victor, it's very elegant. I don't know where he is, but he looks very elegant there. He was on a date, maybe. Andaba en una cita y le dijo, ¡Eh! la, la presentación, ya vengo. <laughs> ok, Mr. Manuel, go ahead. Uh, good evening, everyone. Hi, good evening. Uh, before anything else, uh, it was being a pleasure to take classes with you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Manuel Rivas. I'm from Chalatenango. I'm 30 years old. I'm a sergeant of the Army of the Army Forces. Uh, I'm a psychology student and I study chiropractic on weekend too. Um, I I think the the most liked about the course, uh, the classes uh, were very dynamic. I learned more about the, the meanings of some words that I didn't know. And I learned more pronunciation. Mm. The most difficult to me, uh, I think, was organizing uh, so how can I say, see, organizar mi tiempo? Ah, organizing my organizing time. Organizing my time because the, the time in my work is very heavy. I and, know. And the work, my work and my study and many other obligations, I, they don't leave me much free time to practice English. And, as I would like. I think I need to improve my pronunciation and learn more vocabulary and improve my writing, practically everything. And 
my expectation for the next model are be consistent and learn a lot of English. And I have to see you in the next model. I will. I will pray for that one. I will cross fingers for that one. Thank you very much, Manuel, for uh, your great dedication. Uh, all the different uh, classes, you were very participative. You were always there. You were always pendant. And for sure, you have improved a lot. Your pronunciation is improving. And it has been only 15 days that we were together. Imagine all the things that you're going to do if you continue practicing and working. Even if it is 15 minutes every day, uh, it's going to give you a lot of benefits in the English area of practice. Thank you, Manuel. Claps for Manuel. Very good job. Excellent. Who's next? Si no hay voluntario, yo lo escojo. Aha. Volunteers. Three, two, one. Delia, go ahead. <laughs> okay, Delia. Action. Perdimos a Delia, ¿qué pasó? Delia, la una, Delia, la dos. Hello. There she is, go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Bueno, ahorita esta es mi presentación. Ok, share it, share it, go ahead. That's the extra mile you will see. Click in compartir and then we can see it. Delia nos va a compartir su pantalla para que todos podamos ver su presentación. The microphone, Willy. No te puedo escuchar. My name is Delia Santos. Explain what did you learn on the model? Uh -huh. I learned to understand then what they say in English and mark sentence. Um, today I speak a little more. What did you like the most? Receive the clouds. Yes, plan is flat <laughs> because, or because uh, mm -hmm. they must understand a little, um, clarify my dough. What was the most difficult? Make play and translate. Eh, me está viendo la pantalla. Right now I can't. Por eso yo dije, será yo que no me carga a mí. No, no me he cargado su okay. pantalla. Dele. Yo creí que solo mi internet era el malo. Ah, there you go. I, I can see it now. Yo dije, ah, qué pena, no me carga a mí. Yeah. Ahorita le pongo la primera. Segunda. Ok. There we go. There we go. Yay, I can see it now. There we go. Por ahí va. <laughs> um. What do you need to improve? Speak and translate. What are your expectations for the next model? Extreme me more to be able 
to speak more influently. Thank you. <laughs> That's me. Yay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Hey, what a beautiful girl. I love her. <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> Delia. Oh my God. You blush me. You blush me. It's like, me sonrojaste. Oh my God. Yeah. Ese es mi cover de los videos de YouTube. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Delia. Very, very nice presentation. Even when it seems difficult. Aun cuando Delia decía que todo era difícil, que le costaba un montón, que no quería participar, que, ay, no, es que no me va a salir la oración. You see, Delia, you are here presenting in English, right? 15 days of your life have passed and you are here presenting in English. Mr. Victor Loza, I don't know if you are able to present. Or maybe he went to the dance floor. Yo creo que se no fue a la pista de baile. <laughs> ya anda el baile, va. Yeah, I think. Because he, he didn't answer. Well, let's continue. Si alguien ahí cerca escucha que le estamos hablando a Victor, ahí le dice. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry. Let's see. Helen. Helen Aguirre, go ahead. Hi, good evening. Hi. Uh, I have problem with the camera. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay, uh, my name is Helen. I have 23 years old, living in uh, the Libertad. Um, uh, first, uh, oh, uh, I want to say thanks for uh, all this time. And I learned to, in this model, to pronunciation where I learn new words and I learn to uh, speak in English uh, with, uh, how do you say? Um, oh, okay. More fluent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And the most I like is um, meet new new uh, people in this class. The most difficult maybe is uh, the pronunciation because uh, sometimes you think some words say uh, different and that is okay. And I need to improve my uh, maybe uh, to speak and, and listen uh, another people when speaking English and and entender. Understand. Understand. Very good. And okay, thank you. <laughs> very good, Helen. Yay! Claps for Helen. Very nice job. Uh, good, Helen. You see, you are going to learn, you are going to understand more when you practice. For sure, if you practice every day and the more you practice, the more you are going to understand the language. But you are on a very good way. Thank you very much for sharing, Helen. Mr. Victor, you're you. back. Hello. Hello. You were, you, you? Were, you were dancing, right? No, actually, I am at La Gran Vía. I was, ah. I was taking dinner, but... I want to participate. Go ahead, go ahead. So I'm, going to, I'm, going to I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Victor Loza, and I have 36 years old. I worked for La Constancia six, six years ago. And well, actually, uh, I learned in this model a lot of different things because I forget about it because on my job, I don't have the opportunity to speak to speak, to speak English with somebody else. But I guess the most important thing is when you have to to practice and when you lose the afraid to make a mistake. And that is the most important for me. And I guess and I, I know that I have problems with the with the spelling vocabulary with the vowels because I still confuse them. <laughs> but I, I guess that I have to, to practice and that is the most important. Good. And what are your expectations for the next module? Uh, 
well, still learning. That is the the mini the the principal goal to to have a good pronunciation, even a a good understanding, and I guess that I have to still learning to to speak with somebody else more than a minute. That is the most important for me. Very good. So you see, you spoke with me for three minutes and that has been very nice. Very Thanks. nice interaction. Thank you, Victor. Thank you for all the uh, the participation. Thanks because you are very participative and that's fantastic. It is going to help yes. you a lot. For sure, Thanks. continue working. There you have your WhatsApp group. Make a video call practice during these days that you are going to be separate. En esos días que van a estar entre módulo y módulo, Hagan ahí una su videoconferencia, platiquen, okay. aunque sea unos cinco minutos, escriban en inglés para que no dejen de practicar. Thank you, Victor. Okay. Claps for Victor. I will night. No deje la cita sola, por favor. <laughs> If not, <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, Victor. Thank you very much for participating. Let's listen to Mr. Uh, Edwin Hernández. Mr. Edwin, go ahead. Uh, good night, everyone. My name is Edwin Hernandez. Uh, I live in San Miguel. Uh, what did you like the most? Interact, interact on our sense conversation uh, with, with the rest, also participation and, and in class to speak in in unders, understand <laughs> the well understand um, that's good continue in the class but to be in the under test and will like to improve my pronunciation 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 uh -huh. understanding Learn and please smart also to be more interaction in that. Good, Finish. excellent, Edwin. You see, even even when you say like, ah, oh, no, maybe it's not going to be good or it's too difficult. Uh, at the beginning, it was very difficult for Edwin to make the sentences and all that. And now you are improving. Ya ven, desde el primer día que escuchamos a Edwin que de repente se nos trababa alguna que otra palabra para hacer una conversación y algo. Pero ahora, mire, ahí va, ya avanzando, despegando totalmente en el idioma. Felicidades, Edwin. Continúe haciendo ese gran trabajo y ese esfuerzo, porque a veces sé que lo que más, a lo que más miedo le tenemos es lo que más nos cuesta, tal vez, eh, aventarnos y participar. But you are doing it. And I really congratulate you because of that. Claps for Mr. Edwin. Thank you very much. Great job. Thank Great job. Thank you very much. Let's receive. Turn, turn, turn. Mr. Estreberto, where are you? Did you leave? Hey, I cannot see Estreberto anymore. Come on. Okay, let's go with Mr. René. René Magaña. Hi. Hi. I'm ready. Go ahead. Hi. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is uh, René Magaña. I live in the Salvador, uh, San Salvador. Sorry. Uh, I have. Uh, I am 34 years. I'm working in, in the La Constancia. Uh, I really enjoy the practice in, in the behind. Uh, I'll be to understand some, the center for me, most, most difficult things, the, my, difficult, my difficult things has been the pronunciation in conjugation, the verb to be. Uh, I, need, uh, I need to improve the, uh, my right and I hope to learn more the next model, um, more pronunciation, more practice. Okay, very good, René. Excellent job. Very nice. You see, pronunciation and practice. How do you improve pronunciation? 
by reading everything aloud, ok? Agarre algo ahí, algún artículo, cualquier cosa que encuentre que esté en inglés, léala en voz alta y le va a ayudar un montón para mejorar su pronunciation. Thank you very much, Mr. Edwin. Estuerto, you're here, go ahead. Estuerto. Action. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Good evening, everyone. My name is Estreberto Reyes. Um, I am 24 years old. I am certified for the model thing. I have me to clarify to do things. I am also studying English on the university. Uh, what did you like the most near to pronouncing it for um, dear or merely? Uh, what's more difficult with the most difficulty for me on pronunciation and uh, how to, to use the verb? Bears, what did you need to improve basically everything was and uh, why to understand I'm uh, speaking for English? What are your expectations for the next model? Participate more and private pronunciation. A mí me cuesta mucho la pronunciación. Continue, continue. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, continue. Solo eso, era. Solo continue. eso era Okay. Good. Estreberto, if pronunciation is difficult, I recommend you to look for sites in the internet to practice your reading right to practice your reading and then not only read in the mind read also aloud also having little conversations with people having little conversations help you a lot and if you can record yourself si se puede grabar todos los días contando cómo fue su día leyendo algún algún párrafo en inglés eh, leyendo al, algún artículo eh, leyendo algún libro o simplemente contando cómo fue su día y escúchese después. Eso le va a ayudar un montón para ir identificando eh, las palabras con la pronunciación correcta. Y si le puede enviar el audio a alguien más para que también lo escuche, puede funcionar mucho mejor. Eso es un tip de pronunciación que le regalo por ahí. Thank you very Thank much, you. Mr. Estreberto. Continue working. Very good job. Claps for Estreberto. Yes. Mr. Edward. Go ahead. Mr. Edward Garcia. Mr. Edward, Mr. Edward. Hi. Good night. Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, my name is Edward, my age 26 years old. I live in San Salvador, work in the Serince workshops in practicing my pronunciation in English. Okay. You need to improve your pronunciation in English. That's good. Very good, Edward. You see? ¿Se acuerda el primer día que ni siquiera me quería hablar porque me dijo, no, me cuesta, que no sé qué, que no cuánto? And now, you see? You are here speaking. Little phrases, little things, but you are going to improve. Continue learning, okay? Cualquier cosa, cualquier oportunidad que tenga de practicar el idioma, hágalo. Porque le va a ayudar un montón a seguir avanzando. Thank you very much, Edward. Thank you very much. Okay. Claps for Edward. Great job. Well, uh, am I missing anybody from the ones that are here? I think I think I call everybody. Edward, Edwin, Estreberto, uh, Helen, Catherine, Laura Pamela, Lionel, Manuel, Rene, and Ronnie. I think you all participated. Good. Pronunciation tips, ok. Creo que ya podemos volver. Los puedo poner, pueden poner sus cámaras de vuelta. Ya este, pasamos todos. Very good. 
Excellent. Uh, pronunciation of the word, um, my name is, right? My name is. And when you say, I have 23 years old. No, you say, I am. I am 30, 31, 20, 21, right? I am, right? I am. The next one. Um, the most I like, right? What I like the most, what I like the most. The pronunciation of sentences, sentences. Vocabulary, vocabulary, pronunciation, conjugation, right? Conjugation, formulation, the pronunciation of uh, think and write in English, right? Think and write in English. Um, um, let me see, learn, organize, understand, understand, um, improve, explanation, and uh, let me see, different. When you say prayers, I think it was in the, in Delia's slide, prayers mean prayers, but oraciones to the Lord, to God, right? Yeah, for sure we need to practice our prayers, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. But it is sentences, sentences. That's the word there. And for sure, when you say, uh, I think it was in the case of Victor, uh, I have 30 something. No, I say I am, right? And I work in La Constancia six years ago. And the sentence here in this case is, I have been working in La Constancia for six years. Um, let me see, to lose the afraid, to lose the fear of, to lose the fear of. I live in the El Salvador. No, you say I live in El Salvador, right? Living El Salvador. And let's see, I think just that one. Alvaro, go ahead. The stage is yours. So, Estreberto, you are studying English at the university? Estreberto? ¿También estás estudiando inglés en la universidad? No, o sea, solo yo, una, yo inglés, uno, o sea, complementario. Ah, you right? have, you have a, a subject in English. Uh -huh. Ah, but it can help you. Okay, good. I, I had that doubt. Thank you. Thank you, Estreberto. Eh, Mr. Álvaro, go ahead. Hello, teacher. Your presentation. Uh, my name is Alvaro. Um, why do you know from El Salvador? ¿Cuál eran las otras, teacher? They were in the chat. I sent them yesterday. Ayer se las envié al chat. Mm. ¿Qué le gustó más del módulo? ¿Qué fue lo que más le costó? ¿Cuáles son sus expectativas para el siguiente? Those are the questions. Three questions. Es expanding in the módulo. Ajá. Eh, is my favorite color. Es uh -huh. uno de los colores. Yes. Eh, en... Sería como eh, la presentación. My name is. Uh -huh. eh, what you do from? Preguntar eh, de qué país. The countries and nationalities. Good. Eh, Uh, ok, ¿en qué tenemos que trabajar todavía, Álvaro? Bueno, en ciertas cosas. Ajá, personally, personalmente, ¿en qué consideras que todavía necesitas mejorar? Eh, creo que en la pronunciación bastante. Pronunciation, pronunciation. Ok, pronunciation. Ajá, uh -huh. else? Practice, vocabulary. Sí. En el vocabulario, más que todo, Ajá. más que todo quizás aprender el vocabulario 
Okay. Okay. So, practice the vocabulary, right? Ahí les envié el, el link de todas las clases. Si de repente les quedó alguna duda, vuélvanlas a ver. Sí. Vuélvanlas a ver. Si no asistieron a alguna, vuélvanla a ver. Okay. Y en la siguiente, si faltan a una, vean la clase para que no les queden esos vacíos de aprendizaje. Pero igual, eh, esa es mi recomendación. Si algo se les olvidó, vuelvan a revisar. Vayan a la plataforma otra vez. Hagan los ejercicios de nuevo. Okay. For you to continue learning. Thank you, Álvaro, for sharing a little bit. But sharing, it's important. Okay. Two or three words, four words, something. It's always important. Well, my dear students, thank you very much for sharing. I am going to uh, take advantage of these final minutes that I have here. And for sure, I am going to share this little paragraph with all of you. And uh, I need you to listen to it and then try to get the most out of it. Como siempre hacemos, les voy a dar unos minutos para que lo analicen, lo vean en general. Y identifiquen las, e identifiquen las palabras que no conocen. Okay, new words or new vocabulary. And you can tell me, teacher, what's the meaning of? And you know how to use the pen, so you can use it. También ya les enseñé a usar el lapicito, la pueden marcar si encuentran una palabra nueva. Go ahead. Analyze it, see it, read it. La pueden leer en voz alta, no importa, para que vayan practicando ahí. Pronunciation. Go ahead. Check on it. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, the meaning of sim, parecer. Puede parecer. Okay, sim. A lot, mucho. However, sin embargo. Useful, útil. Also, también. Phrases, it's phrases as in Spanish, right? Phrases. Answer, contestar. Spoken, hablado. No, you, you will know now. You will know, oh, sorry, you, you will know how, it's how. Uh, no, it's saber. Try, intentar. Sooner, lo más pronto. Okay. That's the meaning of the words. Listen to the tips that I am going to give you. And it says, learning English can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But most importantly, it takes a lot of practice. Many people spend time memorizing words out of books. Some even write words and sentences on paper. However, until you make the language useful to yourself, it will never become part of you. Doing all those other things are okay, as long as you are also spending time speaking the language and trying to communicate with others. When you use the words and phrases you have learned to communicate with others, the language becomes more natural for you to learn. Also, you are able to hear how English speakers answer, so you will know how the language sounds when it is spoken. Other good tips on learning a new language are to listen to as much of it as you can. Um, being uh, spoken by a native speaker, turn on the radio and sing songs in English. Watch television shows that are spoken in English. Try to follow along and understand what's going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the English language, the sooner you can start effective communication with other English speakers. So, tips. Watch TV in English. Listen to music in English. Speak with other people in English, right? Read, collect vocabulary, 
analyze the language, but uh, try to put as much practice of the language as possible, okay? Ahí les da diferentes tips. Si ven una película en inglés, póngale subtítulos en inglés. Aunque la ven en español, póngale subtítulos en inglés al principio. Después la va a ver en inglés y con subtítulos en inglés y la va a entender. Si quiere cantar en inglés, cante, pero con las letras. Read the lyrics, read the lyrics. Read the karaoke versions, right? Practice, speak with another person in English, right? Make, I don't know, video call, video conferences in English. The meaning of try, intentar, right? Intentar. And in this uh, final minutes that I have here for you, I am going to share some other tips to continue learning, okay? ¿Qué tips les puedo dejar yo para cerrar eh, este curso? Set a goal. Marquen un objetivo de aprendizaje siempre. Quiero mejorar por esto y esto y esto. Para ser mejor persona, para tener un mejor empleo, para ascender en el empleo que tengo, para lograr mis metas profesionales, para ser un ejemplo para mis hijos, para ayudar a mis hijos en sus tareas, para terminar la materia, para pasar la carrera, etc., etc., etc. But set a goal in English. Find a routine. Unidos, if you want, if you want to travel, if you want to travel, because once you travel, you know that it's a different thing, right? We never know. But if you can practice here in your country, do it. If you want to get a better job, do it, right? If you want to, to improve your life, do it, right? Find a routine. Find a routine. Hágalo una rutina. De hacer todos los días. A la misma hora, practique lectura. Otro día practique listening. Otro día practique vocabulary. En el internet hay una cantidad de cosas que puede practicar. Y, y ahí puede encontrar muchos, muchos eh, espacios donde puede practicar estas cosas específicas. El día de mañana les voy a enviar una colección de links que tengo por ahí para diferentes cosas. Para practicar listening, para practicar vocabulary, para practicar grammar. Que les pueden ir sirviendo. Practice a lot. Learn new phrases every day. Practice vocabulary. Record yourself. El tip que les daba de crear un grupo con alguien, después saque a ese alguien y quédese usted solo en el grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, grábese todas las noches un audio contando cómo fue su día en English. Grabe todos los días. Cosas que hizo en el día. Cosas, actividades que hizo. And then listen to them. Practice listening. O sea, like, Mm, no, creo que eso no se dice así, es que se me ve bien raro. Ok, vamos, buscamos en internet, buscamos ahí la pronunciación. Pero escúchense, escúchense cómo ustedes pronuncian el idioma. Read new words and phrases. Read about things that you like. If you find a book in English, read it aloud. Si encuentran un libro en inglés, léanlo, pero léanlo en voz alta. Porque en la mente a veces leemos perfecto. Pero ya una vez que leemos ya en voz alta, ay Dios, ¿qué es eso? Practice. And practice is going to give you perfection. Message people in English. If you have a friend who speaks English or that is learning English, write messages to this person in English. And it's going to be very beneficial. Let me see. The next one. The next one that we have here. I have use a dictionary. It is important that you use a dictionary. Online, there are many sites, but don't translate, okay? That's very important. Pueden usar un diccionario para corregirse, para armar sus ideas, pero no traduzcan, porque si no, su mente se va a setear en traducir todo, todo el tiempo y no va a avanzar. Mejor, aprendamos a pensar en inglés, a crear y todo de una vez en inglés. Listen to the pronunciation of the words, okay? En, en YouTube hay una página, bueno, ahí hay una página de how to pronounce y ahí le pueden poner how to pronounce pra, uh, mistakes y ahí le sale la pronunciación de la palabra. So, practice, practice, because that is the only thing that it's going to give you perfection. And for sure, the final thing that I can tell you, keep doing the great, the, the great job that you are doing. Thanks for sharing your life with me. Thanks for sharing your time. Thanks for sharing your knowledge and I am going to be here 
whatever you need, you can send me a message, okay? Thank you very much, my dear students. It has been such a great pleasure to be your teacher. And I will pray, and I will pray to be your teacher in a couple of modules then, and I want to see you later on. Continue working, okay? No quiero encontrarme al grupo en un módulo o dos adelante que me digan, ay, fíjense que no, se fue fulano, teacher, se fue fulano, ya no siguió. No, 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 no. Continue, continue, continue. Even when it seems difficult, continue working. Thank you very much. It has been such a pleasure to be your teacher. Thank you. Good night, Good night you. teacher. Have a beautiful Good night. Good night. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Victor. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.